Good morning, afternoon or evening and welcome to the final week of the Zero AD Pro League Tournament. Now today's match is the one that you've probably all been waiting for, which in my opinion involves the two best players in the game. In the north here, playing as the Romans, we have Valerant. And in the south, playing as the Iberians, we have um, the man who's probably seen as the best player in the game, um, and that is Borg. So let's have a quick look at how we got to this stage. Well, Borg sailed through his round against Badasu and FFM, while Valoran beat Ludi and had a surprisingly comfortable victory over the lead leader, Stockfish, in the semi-finals. So if we have a look at the table, we can see this means that Stockfish is already guaranteed to be champion, but this has only been achieved by playing all the weeks. Um, both Valoran and um, Borg didn't play. Uh, both weeks, which means that um, they've sorry didn't play all three weeks so far. Uh, they've only actually played one each, which means they're not basically able to get uh, the best thing. So basically, today's match just decides who is, if not the literal champion, then certainly they'll be the moral champion because uh, neither have lost a game so far. So this is going to be the one that pretty much decides that. So let's see how it goes. So we can see uh, Valorant's got the slight population edge at this point. He has gone all in on uh, women. While well, I saw earlier that Borg was getting some cavalry. And indeed, Borg has three cavalry and is yeah, he's slightly behind uh, due to that. But it does mean he has um, you know potential to really um, to rush. He's just building uh, rush. Yeah, if he wanted to. He's building a house now and his attempt... Oh, he's just made a slight error there, walked away a little bit too quickly. But what he's really trying to do, um, I suppose, is just build up his population but make it as mobile as possible. Um, this map, uh, just to get into it, is Deep Forest. No, it's, it's oh, I forget what it's called, it's Schwarzwald, something like that. I don't know, anyway, it's um, a really interesting map. If we have a look around, it's lots of trees, these uh, big bits of unpassable terrain that we have sort of here and there's pockets of animals as well it's a it's a really good map for um for borg he's got yeah like actually just have a look around no he doesn't have any he's a, he's got stone and gold inside but he's also got this additional uh metal here some additional berries some boar bits of metal around here and here and if we look over here we've got yet more metal so um, he starts with just metal on that one stone. But he's got loads and loads of mineral resources around, which is just fantastic for him. Um, and oh, Valorant is finding himself on the receiving end of a very, very early um, attack. His only defensive um, things are uh, his cavalry, and he's built sufficient numbers of them now. He's got five, so Borg will not be. Um, able to do anything. Does Borg know this? Yeah, Borg can see his cavalry numbers and realises that this is a a, a completely lost um, engagement. That all that's happened there is he's kind of wasted a bit of time. Now he's started producing skirmishers quite early on actually so he's he's going into for quite a reasonable amount of military um, whereas Valerant is doing uh, what is is quite common. <clears throat> he's gone to very early farming. I don't think he's built a farmstead though, so he's got no upgrades in terms of his um, food gathering. So this is quite a bold move from him. Whereas I think we have a farm. Yeah, we do have a farmstead here, and he got the berry upgrade, but he hasn't got any farming upgrades. So he's got seven women. He's going to need to pull some of these people, of which ten are women, pull them back to get. Uh, some more fields going if uh, Borg's going to retain it's there. I mean, they're neck and neck on uh, their populations. It just goes to show how evenly matched they are. Both very, very good players. I'm going to say, certainly, in my opinion, anyway, the two best players in the game, without a shadow of a doubt. Okay, here comes uh, an attack from. Well, it looked like the attack. Interesting uh, bit of thing here that his. Due to this sunken thing, the walls that he gets have started way down in the ground there. So, because it's, it's interesting, these are both the two civilizations. They neither of them start with spearmen, so they're both theoretically more vulnerable to um, 
cavalry attacks than uh, than other civilizations. However, they both have an additional defense. In the case of the Romans, it's the fact they've got these uh, Lancer cavalry who get a bonus. I think it's at 1.5. Let's just have a look. They do against cavalry, which means that... And they're also 160 uh, health as opposed to the 100 that you'll get on one of these chaps. So they're you know, very able to chase them down. And in the terms of the Iberians, their defense really rests on the fact that they have uh, these walls. So as long as they can gather materials very, very close to them, you can quickly garrison these and they effectively work, these, um, these turrets, and they effectively work as watchtowers. Um, which will give him give Borg a, a really good defense. It's very very um, difficult to to really uh, take them on. You can one thing that you can do to try and stop this sort of thing. If you're playing as Ptolemies, you can use camel archers. They can fire in as far as the civic centre and not be fired back to. Um, however, all you need to do is garrison some of these walls, and yeah, the camel archers will be uh, easily beaten away. So. It's it's no, absolutely not flawless. Um, this is very interesting and and good play. I'd have to say from um, from Borg, he's got his group of six skirmishers defending his seven women who are going for berries. You have to say that the um, the terrain uh, or the map itself has really been great for Borg, and he's now he's making a forward dash in an attempt to get himself he's going to lose this guy surely um but he's trying to get a a watchtower up and he's still oh no i was going to say he may do he won't that um that skirmish is long gone um and so now is his watchtower so he's got a lot of his military is really really high comparatively so you see borg is behind in in numbers, I mean that the 73 that you're seeing there in terms of his population is actually 10 of them are being produced now. He's producing his first barracks here. Um, whereas if we look in terms of military here, yeah, eight swordsmen. So he's built six swordsmen and some cavalry. Uh, there's not. I mean, he has got a fair few cavalry. It's not like just a couple. How much food have these guys got? He's got 60 food, uh, but he's open to get something done quickly and very very sharp from Valorant there you know he, yeah, he's on top of his game and that was not able to do anything again there was an effort he's seen from Valorant's perspective he can see that there's this gold he knows his way around the way he's done some excellent scouting um, and he's anticipating that at some point they're going to have to come out and and start collecting that and therefore if he's in a position to take that out uh, or make that unavailable then that's helpful um, the other good thing that he's got which the Romans have with these um, uh, spear cavalry is that they don't have to shoot the deer they just run up to them and they're dead so if we see if he's going to try to uh, kill a deer if you want to drive it back um, then it's it's more difficult Basically, if you're um, if you're using range cavalry, then if you're using melee cavalry, these range cavalry are going to be killed very very easily now. Um, Borg, um, well, he's got plenty of food, but if he's ever 60 food short of something, maybe he'll regret not depositing that food, unless he manages to deposit some of it now. These guys are going to presumably hide in the barracks, and indeed they do. Number 27. Um, well, God. It, Look how many um, range infantry he's got there. Absolutely phenomenal numbers. So he's certainly not uh, remotely concerned. He's got 50. He's short of five women for these fields. And he's producing loads of swordsmen, which is quite an interesting um, decision. But, what, okay, early, early um, attack. We can see it, he's going ahead with 50... Um, skirmishes and they're coming from multiple angles so let's look at this from Borg's perspective these guys um, have been lured away by the cavalry which is quite smart and these ones is he aware that this is coming uh, maybe it's the smaller group of um, things he's got a few kills but 
not a lot has really happened and these towers now are his main source of defense okay so if we watch that Valoran is clear in population but he is seeing a lot of his uh, women killed in there he has got quite a few if we go back he's got plenty of skirmishes of his own so he's in a strong um, position and with those towers as well got the two towers um, this one's only garrisoned with one he's going to attempt to take over this that's not going to happen that's garrison even only with three people that's not but he may be able to take a house that much is certainly possible uh, or maybe not it's at the moment he's really trying to just pen him in and Valorant is changing his formation on these skirmishes as much as possible drawing him closer and closer to the sound center and it's what did he uh, he's only lost like five unless he's been reinforcing oh just have a quick look here um while that's been going on there's been some more fighting and valorant's cavalry are making a run for it having just had a little bit of an uh, attempt to push back yeah they're only carrying 19 wood it's something that i've mentioned before but i still stand by thinking the yeah the best players just don't seem to care how much their resources their soldiers are carrying when they go off um whereas i don't know maybe i'm just a little bit more um or sort of uh neurotic about it but i'm always like oh if they die they're gonna lose 150 wood no i'm not having it so i've got to go and deposit that first and maybe that slows me down so looking at things now the population's still ahead for valorant um are they both still uh ball's gone to phase two um but he's housed so a lot of people died here you know but he's trying to get as many things but he's got nothing very very little wood he's really struggling 28 wood now he's depositing some of that wood he'll be in a far better position but he's trying to get some stone together presumably to make slingers i don't actually know if that's the case we'll have to wait and see but he's managed to get a lot of that wood and he's on stone and he's on metal and he is also now getting wood um, obviously one of the big things that that um, attack led to was a complete um, lack of him gaining uh, wood for a long period of time having got to phase two though and he's got there uh, he's got good amounts of food he could build a market and start doing some trading um, so let's see if that is what happens at the minute he's just actually trying to yeah, boost his economy um, and get these houses to get additional um, people he's still not got any farming upgrades which if he only wants to have seven farms there's an eighth one coming he's still going to want that I assume the maximum pops 300 it is indeed so yeah he's going to want that farming upgrade but he needs to get some metal how many has he got on each he's got 15 and one woman and he's got 18 and one woman there um, is he going to get an upgrade at any point um, he's still producing skirmishes in the main he's not making a huge push for anything else he has made a few um, yeah just a couple of slingers I think obviously he's Borg so he's he certainly knows uh, significantly more than I do but it would, if he wanted to launch an attack then having those slingers would be really helpful because he could actually take down some buildings but let's kind of look at this from Valorant's perspective anyway at the moment so he's got an advanced thing there which is mostly skirmishers here it's all skirmishers he has uh, two barracks uh, this one producing swordsmen this one producing nothing at the moment and here he's finally going to phase two so that means that at the moment if you have a look he's He's got 50 as his health. These guys will have 60 as their um, top health. And is he? Oh, he's building another civic center. I thought he was going phase three um, already. Although, having said that, he's not. What's he short of? Uh, everything. He's got no phase two building, so he won't be going to phase um, phase three for a while yet. Um, it's still just producing. This will obviously give him um, additional territory, which is 
going to be hugely important as he pushes in and he's just using this guy who's got very little health but he does have 20 food go and deposit that that's good food um, so obviously that guy's not been doing anything but equally neither of those three that were building a, a tower he's built a lot of towers um, one of the things to, that you'll need to also always bear in mind with Iberians is that their buildings, like not houses and stuff, but things like their town centre and their fortress and everything are super strong and they just take forever to build. Okay, so he's going to want... What does he have in terms of... He's got plenty of stone, so I'm surprised that we aren't seeing um, a, a temple. Because he's got so many really quite badly ill or ill uh, wounded uh, I think ill is um, an inappropriate bit of terminology yeah also their towers take forever to build again because I mean if you look 2400 and if we look at the one here the Roman one 1000 I mean it's massively superior but it does mean they take a lot longer to build so here he's got this um, these he's got one guy healing in his town centre this I think that was going to be a watchtower but that's been taken out so from Ball's perspective he doesn't know quite a lot of what's happening he's just finding out here but Valorant's actually more prepared for a rush through the ages than he is um, oh, whoever was doing that scouting has just died because he's got in fact he's got everything that he needs to upgrade and he is going to phase three as we stand as we speak Borg is still short of every single building that he needs to go through um, how are we finally getting yes we're getting the temple so we've got one uh, yeah he's got one uh, what do you call it uh, tower A another tower is going up the temple and these guys that are doing nothing could do with doing something but one of those things that they could be doing is building an armory or building some houses either or the, he's managed to catch right up in um, population which is really impressive the big thing our market of course that's the most obvious um, thing so the really interesting thing is that as you, you've seen the way that well potentially you have seen the way the map um, the territory has expanded Valorant's territory that is um, because of this forward building it's been unable to push out as much as it would have done otherwise so going to phase three we should have pushed him way way into Borg's territory but actually his um, yeah his buildings particularly this civic center which is radiating um, loyalty has stopped him from doing that he should be going to phase three himself presumably no he's not yet um, I'm surprised he doesn't want to get going these guys are they ready to launch an attack what's going on Borg's aware of them and has sent a few uh, 23 soldiers which has uh, put him off somewhat so he's decided against um, doing whatever he was doing there however he's coming back so is he going to be able to do whatever it is and stay out of um, the sight of Borg it looks very much that way they have managed to sneak all the way around the back this is yeah they've done that and they're in an area that Borg hasn't even scouted yet so potentially they could come all the way around this Let's see where and it's an entrenched army camp um it's absolutely to be expected but is still brilliant how he's managed to sneak around and this guy would have seen that oh they're still not scattered he's in big trouble so this is going to give him access to soldiers and siege engines uh right on borg's doorstep which is exactly what borg doesn't want has he now seen it no, even with this building going up, he still hasn't seen this. A few soldiers there, and they are running away. And it looks very much as though they were actually sent there to distract and to pull. In fact, they were, because they just walked straight back, so it's made them move away from this. So a ram is coming. Oh, he doesn't want to let that guy do that. Pull this guy back. Uh, yeah, to quote from aliens pull your men out Gorman okay he's just causing a bit of chaos over there but the big thing so Borg's fortress is going up in the center but the big thing is going to be with really with this um, doesn't have the resources for any other any additional 
um, siege weapons which is unfortunate is Borg still yet aware of this no Borg still isn't aware and these guys have stopped doing anything and they're They've got 159 food. Uh, Valorant's managed to pull ahead again in population. Uh, where is... I don't know if either of them have um, uh, an armory uh, for any upgrades at this point. But Valorant is... Oh, he's trying to get a second army come up here. He was so close and he's, he's lost that. But that is irrelevant. If this one starts producing... Um, it's in sufficient numbers so I mean that's the very good thing about Romans that they really have which is a massive advantage is that the fact that they have um, these entrenched army camps so your territory is far less um, relevant these guys are just sitting here still see what are they producing another two rams okay that makes sense he's just getting as many rams as done as possible uh, he's only got the three barracks, is that right? Finally, we've got a blacksmith going up, uh, which will allow him to get some upgrades. Uh, and he is producing some of these um, cavalry skirmishers. Now, the Iberian cavalry skirmishers use flaming javelins, sorry, and that means they can take down buildings. So they offer crush damage. So they're, um, they're not particularly great against um, infantry, or cavalry or anything actually any kind of um, soldiers but what they are good with is uh, is buildings so you can use them to take down towers take down um, houses get your opponent housed let's have a look we've got the four okay all is Borg going to become aware of he still doesn't know that this is there he's pulling around loads of skirmishers but some swords as well the swords are critical because they are going to um, give him the oh, heart again it's incredible really um, he's managed to keep this secret and everything in it for so long that's madness I don't know how he's done that ok these are all as well the rams not, not, eat, not absolutely every one of them but the rams are full of soldiers also he's putting up some additional towers is Borg is surely this tower must give him the additional site. He hasn't gone for um, and then give the additional. Ah, oh, he's seen the rams. Or is he aware of the rams? How many? Yeah, he's got. Where are the swords? If the swords are here, they are. He needs to get the swords out. But as he gets them to the rams, the rams are all been garrisoned, and they will. Uh, yeah, here they go. The. It's our first kind of fight of the day. Let's see what's going to happen here. Um, one of the rams is gone, and one is in not great shape. No, it isn't. Sorry, none of the rams gone. One just ran away. But Borg is pushing on this side, and we have another entrenched army camp coming up. So it is... Oh, he's got some swordsmen. Yeah, they're going to take down the ram without any real difficulty. Could do with repairing that. Um, and no doubt he will do but this is a fantastic um, structure the location everything is just brilliant and th again he's denying another entrenched army camp here so Borg's got the vast majority of the territory but the thing with Romans is that's not actually necessarily hugely um, it's nowhere near as um, critical as it is for against other civilizations because yeah, he can just build these entrenched army camps and he can still uh, produce within the opponent's territory uh, so we've got another civic centre going up here did he get a fortress? he has so he's got a fortress hasn't produced anything from it he's got a fortress, he's got six of these guys these cavalry skirmishers let's see um, another two are being produced so let's see what happens and there's a second fortress going up here as you can see my earth same just to check again show you the comparison 6,000 hit points on that fortress 4,200 on this one um, again that's going to make a huge difference if we have a look at his civic center two and a half thousand three oh no sorry three thousand and three thousand well that's uh, that's quite surprised I didn't realize they took had the same um, hit points but here we now 
I think this is where the versatility of the Romans really comes in. They have the potential, because of their buildings, to produce catapults and rams and bolt shooters. So that's really helpful. Whereas all we've got here really are rams. Um, oh, he made a bit of a, a run with his cavalry and they didn't really do anything. We've got some Roman walls going up as well. Siege walls are very useful and all the siege weapons coming into play now. So combinations are oh, this catapult can't quite get where it wants to. That's really frustrating that its AI has led it to kind of a dead end, but it's producing more and more catapults and they're both right up at the the max pop. We'll see. So I wonder what they've got queued. So has he got he's only got one swordsman in there. He's Ball's gonna really have to get his he's got some Oh he's got some spears and they're gonna have to do the job. That's all that he has, but there's no way this tower's gonna survive with everything coming out he's got and it goes down as expected um, yeah this additional civic centre even though these guys are doing nothing at the moment has really made um, a big difference but while that's pushing on Borg is saying yeah I fancy a bit of that as well so let's have a just want to watch these guys through it see can these guys take out this tower they're flaming javelins uh, they need to get someone to help them out because these guys could do with killing these ones because these I don't think they're going to take it out in time there's not enough of them and they're going to start dying relatively shortly they're going to take out this one tower but the second tower is not in such great shape so you could really do is supporting these guys with slingers just interested it's a really it's a big push from Borg but if we just look quickly down here as well he's also he's being a bit overrun here so yes he's it's oh, he's pushing on but at the same time he's being pushed back in his own territory you've got four rams coming if you can get those rams out it's just a bit short of he's got lots of swordsmen but he's a bit short generally of soldiers he needs to get those swordsmen out to the rams oh, I'm trying to keep track of this oh there's another little bit of a skirmish going on here so I mean, Borg's position at this point is is not great but then he looks like he's yeah he's managed I think pretty successfully to fight off Valorant if they take out this other tower that would be good but this looks far more dangerous although having said that We've now got Inderbil, presumably that's Inderbil. Yeah, so he's going to find all of his troops are really cheap, um, which is good. And they're taking out the range, um, what, uh, what's going to call them artillery, then it's siege weapons. Thank you. We're not living in uh, modern times when artillery would be the correct term. So he needs to really get these rams taken out, and he's trying to use slingers and skirmishers on them, and that's not really going to do the job just check it. we've still got this um, camp but it looks very much like I'm surprised here and um, the rams are they're just taking out the walls uh, rather than pushing on doing something potentially more useful so what he could do is he could be uh, take out key building he's already got kind of a way in um, if it was to take out some of these houses and this farmstead that would uh, make him give him uh, a clear access through to the civic centre but he's not right. Borg's not taking um, this uh, attack too well and so he is making he's doing his best now to just take out the I've or whatever this the military camp thing once these um oh let's say once the rams 
get at them. I thought that would be it, but actually he's got swordsmen, so though he's doing a great job of putting his swordsmen away and then taking them. Uh, and again, the rams come out and they're going to take out this. So though his rams take out this one ram and they still can't quite take this to a looks like it's actually going it's a forlorn hope and so rather than lose it uh, Valorant ducks back out now the weird thing is now he won't actually be able to replace that because that now is considered his territory and you can only build that army camp in neutral or opponent's territory so very very strange uh, sort of situation but nice use here of the um, the uh, what we called the skirmisher cavalry to just take out another tower and it's amassing he's amassing some troops over here there it's it's real end-to-end -end stuff it's like where it doesn't really have much in the way of siege oh he's got these if Borg can get get rid of this civic center that yeah paradoxically may actually Although it would be um, positive in terms of him producing, uh, stopping his opponent, like producing his territory and stopping him producing soldiers, it will allow him to build another um, military camp closer to his base back in this sort of area, which he's not currently able to do. Now, is he going to be able to defend his rams for long enough? I don't know. It, I'm not sure there's sufficient troops. He's got his got everything going at it if they can take out the swordsman and I think I think this may well go what's happening over here but while that's happening there's another attack going on there and sufficient truth the the ram uh, was killed and so he's he's given up but wow it just yeah it goes it's back and forth end to end I mean there really is nothing between them uh, Borg is I mean in terms of as players in terms of the current situation there's a lot between them because Valorant has really successfully defended and Borg has uh, committed a lot to those attacks and is subsequently in a bit of difficulty he needs to get some more wood he could possibly do with some more stone and he really needs to trade some of that metal because he's got a phenomenal amount of metal that is um, doing nothing um, we got siege wall here which is now taken down but that was helpful to keep his catapults safe it's taken out Borg's town center and that but he does have these two fortresses which makes it um, less of a, a knockout blow than it might have been but now Borg continues to push on this side and these guys are really really badly wounded um, and yeah surprisingly their batter pulls out but this is yeah very very sensible play if he just keeps inching those guys forward knocking out the key buildings ball needs to start producing more rams he's got plenty of metal he needs to get some wood together and he needs to start ramming into these things this is a really good choke point from which um valorant can attack really really good choke point and he got a ram and it came out the wrong side okay there's another ram he's not building anymore he's not trying to de defend it or um sorry rebuild it and this civic center pushes into borg's territory and where it's gone from the vast majority of the map being controlled by borg to now being controlled by Valoran. it looks like this has um been a um yeah, a big a big uh, a switch in the momentum and yeah it's it's just a really really good display I mean from both players ball really went at it early on but this is this bit of geography was just used brilliantly by Valorant so if this fortress goes down and potentially then he's able to push on and then take out this fortress you know Borg's building his population back up and he's got plenty of metal as well so he should be able to make lots of swordsmen which he has he's got 84 swordsmen there got a load of people here doing nothing he's got plenty of food um, and he is bartering now he's getting 
some stone in exchange for his food he's got um, another one it's what his cavalry skirmish are still going there um, they're pushing around the side and this round then yeah Borg is really struggling to defend all of his borders at the moment he's getting pulled left and right he's trying to rebuild um, is he actually short on no he's trying to rebuild houses uh, don't know quite why he's building so many houses unless it's just to slow down uh, Valorant's progression uh, make his rounds go through a lot of houses before they can um, get to anything else it's, it does certainly I uh, confuse the AI if you're leaving a ram there it will kind of just run towards uh, run towards stuff this wall is coming down but the swordsman next to that will not allow those rams through to take out any, or maybe they will maybe I was uh, naive in thinking that none would be taken out there you go ram does its usual bit of genius AI and decides to turn around and just attack that wall of which is of no real consequence is it's a strong push on this side again he's still population still significantly behind Valorant and I think Valorant has the the advantage of it just being like uh, having that uh, that range uh, siege weapon but he's it's going to be much much more difficult for boar what's he producing he's producing rams again but having the, the fact that he can build these um towers and uh, sorry these defenses and then put catapults behind them uh, to launch ranged attacks it's going to be very difficult now for boar to defend them uh, it's just the nature of the iberians he's done a a decent little snipe there i mean his best bet i don't even really know what his best bet is at this point it looks fairly lost um it's it's not but it, it's this is a great position you see he's going to try and get the rams out to him but all he needs is a load of um swordsmen he actually weirdly only has three but the sword by the time the ram gets through it's not going to be able to actually take out any of these um so you he's trying to take over this civic center which is no he's not he's just trying to kill it he was trying to take it over and in fact he's not been able to quite destroy it another thing just hasn't quite gone as he would have wanted if you look at the units killed is incredible like Valorant's killed 500 but Borg's killed 425 he's pushed in again before um, withdrawing to defend his tower but that tower is gone is he able to take out anything I don't think yeah this the ram is just trapped this is where taking out this vap if he'd taken out one of the sides he would have had a chance but the turrets I assume have um, more hit points than the rest of the wall which makes that that much more difficult what have we got here fortress going up and he's secured this metal uh, it's a push on this side but I feel like this is kind of a a lost squad's got no one on this metal. Uh, these guys have seen that he's now Valorant, who's a little bit short of metal, but n by no means desperately short of metal. Oh, if he doesn't, if Ball doesn't take down his own fortress here, he could be in real trouble. This could get captured. Um, is he going to be able to? Yeah, this this round's going to go. Oh, is it? Actually, pushing all those people forward might actually give. Borg's rams the chance to do something. What's he going to do? Ah, oh, he's not able to do anything. He's using his uh, villagers to take out the ram. Who actually are very good at that. Um, he's pushing on into Borg's base. If he wants to, uh, sorry, Borg is pushing on into Valorant's base, and he needs to either take over a barracks or do something useful because at the moment yeah stopping his food eco is not going to be hugely relevant at this, at this late stage like you know because it'll only be shutting it down for a short while before he can re, um, repopulate that 
this it's got 21 health it's going down he's lost his fortress he's making a last gasp push into um, here which is taking out all the farmers but of it's a very little consequence and now he's able with his additional territory to build walls potentially if he wants along here and then set up his catapults again to start taking out these barracks which are producing skirmishes as quickly as they can but well not quickly enough and with that Borg has um, has resigned so that is that, yeah the end of the game as you would uh, expect so let's just quickly uh, let's exit there though it normally um, ends but let's have a quick look at the stats so you can see total score of Valorant well ahead um, He's have a look if we go through units see again there are um, some stats there is a oh, like a kill death ratio where's that here we go so yeah you can see the kill death ratio there um, favors Valorant he um, killed 1.22 soldiers for every one that he lost whereas Borg only killed 0.86 for every one um, that he lost uh, Valorant had map control um, explore more of the map I mean, very well did really really well and you know so having a look at the stats I suppose we should have a look at the, the final table um, oh, actually quickly before we do that there you go let's have a look at this economy total score you can see Valorant was never really behind and from 12 minutes onwards was always thin if couldn't ahead and in terms of military Borg had it early on but after he lost that first fight that first big attack never really gained the supremacy until right at the end um, Valorant was just miles clear so anyway yeah the table so as we sort of stated earlier um, Stockfish, Stockfish rather was unassailable because he played in all four rounds um, so Valorant's impressive victory here I think it does give him a claim to be the best player at the tournament however not in terms of the number of points so I think all that's left is to celebrate Stockfish's victory by um, representing him as a giant image of Freddie Mercury cosplaying as a gladiator so that's that Thanks for watching and I'll see you next week for some more Zero AD action.